then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spake unto me. And we compassed Mount Seir many days. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, I, you, have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you northward, and command thou the people, saying, you are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Take you good heed unto yourselves, therefore. Meddle not with them. I like that. I'm not going to preach on it. I will take it For I will not give you of their land. No, not so much as a foot breadth, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. You shall buy meat of them for money that you may eat, and you that also buy water of them for money that you may drink. Verse 7, the concluding verse, For the Lord thy God for the Lord thy God Hallelujah. hath blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He, hand. he knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness. Yes. Does he know we're walking through the great wilderness? Yes. 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 These 40 years. How long was their wilderness? 40 years. I don't know how long yours has been. Doesn't matter how long it is, you're getting out of it. Amen. Doesn't matter how long it was for them, they got out of it. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. These 40 years the Lord thy God had been with thee, and thou hast liked nothing. Hallelujah. And I said, yes, Lord. It's so tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Brother Ernest, it's so. Yes, so. Yes. Brother Mike, it's so. Yes. Sister Annette, it's so. Yes, it is. Yes. Linda, it's so. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Read that last verse again. It's so, it's so strong Hallelujah. and it's powerful. Oh, yes. Verse 7. For the Lord thy God hath blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness these 40 years. The Lord thy God hath been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing. Hallelujah. I want you to say this if you don't mean it. And if you don't have this testimony, don't lie. Don't tell a lie. Thou shalt not lie. But if God has provided for you. Just simply thank him tonight. Amen. Give him the praise. He has blessed you. If he has provided for you. If you've been one of those that has received nothing but good from the Lord. And I think we can shout about it. We can praise the Lord. We can give him glory. Hallelujah. I feel him tonight. I love him. My goodness, don't you feel the presence of the living God? Praise the name of the Lord. I say, don't you feel the presence of the living God? I feel the presence of the living God. And I'm not going to end it with that. I am going to put my Bible here. I'm going to raise both of my hands and surrender to God in a holy praise and the Lord's blessing and the shout of the Lord and the Holy Spirit of me because God is good to us here tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mighty God of Israel. Mighty God of heaven. Mighty God of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. God is good to us. Look at this church on a Wednesday night. Look at the interest. Look at the young people coming. Look at the praises and songs. Look at our dear sister coming. Look at our sister Angel.
being with us tonight. Yes. Look at all that what God is doing for our church, for this gathering, this ecclesia. We're only part of the vast body of Christ that covers the earth tonight in millions of people. Amen. Millions. We don't know them, but God knows every one of them. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to encourage you. There's one specific person I'm speaking to now. And you'll know, you'll know if I'm speaking to you. You cannot let your circumstances get you down. You cannot let your circumstances rob you of a lifetime of calling and dedication. Because you have had some circumstances. But God is greater than your circumstances. Praise the name of the Lord. You cannot let your circumstances, because remember, your circumstances are temporary. Yes, sir. But your God is eternal. Circumstances are only temporary. Amen. I had about tonight, uh, we had a very busy day today in the ministry. And tonight, uh, about 6.45, I hurried and got ready and, uh, you know, did a quick <laughs> <laughs> camouflage a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's, thank God for camouflage. <laughs> and uh, I got in a jump in the car, drove across the city to the west side. I said, it's near you. It's near you, seven o'clock. God put a family on my heart. And earlier, this man had prayed with him and comforted them. I, it, I want you to remember the Penario family tonight. The Penario family. They come to this church. They're from Cuba. They fled the harsh regime of Fidel Castro. And God let them come to America. And they, they are really... Uh, in need of comfort and prayer. And uh, I want you to pray for them tonight that God will bless them. Yes. And yes, Lord. over the weekend, put the address on the screen and let everybody see it. And everybody in the church, write them a comfort letter or a comfort note or a comfort card because uh, they've, they've been through a very trying time in their life and they just came to America. They escaped the harshness of Cuba. They came here and they found some of the harshness of America. But God can comfort that family. Yes, yes. And God can help that family. Yes. And so over the weekend, put their address on the board, on the screen. And let the saints of God just write a comfort letter, a comfort note, and, and let them feel. And I was praying with them, and it was around 7.15, and I thought, well, you know, I'm a little late, it doesn't matter. Because you leave the nine in nine and you go to the one sheep. Praise the name of the Lord. You go to the one sheep. And we want to pray for them tonight. We want to pray for all the rest, of course, of God's people, sick, afflicted, known to us, not known. And uh, just keep everyone in prayer. Pray for every one of our families in prayer that needs prayer tonight and ask God to help them. And most of you know the families that need prayer. And if you don't, God does. Oh, yes. You just yes. blanket it, oh Lord, help yes. your people. Yes. And he will. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Right now, every hand with me, uh, stretch forth your hand if you will. And everybody open your mouth in a praise and a prayer to God. Uh, asking God to heal the sick, loose the lame, touch the blind, and comfort the bereaved, and, and reach out for the sad and the lonely, and the distressed and the perplexed tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we have compassion for our brothers and sisters. We have compassion for the family of God. We have compassion for the sinner. We have compassion for the ungodly man or woman. We have compassion for the lost and the weary and the lonely and the deserted and the hopeless. And, oh God, give them hope and give uh, the people of God strength and reach out for the cripple, the halt, the blind man, the sinner, the man that curses you. Turn his curse into a blessing. Oh, every one of your children tonight, 
you know about. There's not one of the sheep you don't know who they are. The Panario family, you know about them tonight. You know all the needs of all your people, the hurting, the afraid, the lonely, the perplexed. Oh God, don't let a person leave this assembly tonight. If they're young, if they're a teenager, if they're eight, if they're 10, if they're 80, if they're 90, if they're 60, if they're 50, Lord, don't let one leave here tonight without feeling that your hand, as it's been preached, is not short and your ear is not heavy. And as Brother Tim preached to us tonight, appropriate our faith so our faith can make us whole. Oh God, go with us. Oh God, go with us. Oh God, let your spirit right now rumble itself among the saints. And let everyone here feel the connection of the Holy Ghost to the Holy Spirit within. Praise the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we'll believe, we'll accept it, we'll ask it's given in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Brethren, you want to uh, 